Story development is underway right now for Halo Infinite. Light program information for you guys in this video as well. And more details on the slip space engine and how new is it compared to previous Halo engines. Well, we'll find out all the details throughout this video, so stay tuned. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update video here. We're talking about the social stream that recently happened for uh, Halo and uh, the kind of end of the year kind of thing. They give a lot of information about Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these kind of news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your guys' thoughts are or hopes and dreams are when it comes to Halo Infinite or what your thoughts are on this video as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified if we do anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. So let's get into all the details of this video here. As mentioned earlier, 343 did a social stream as they do every week when it comes to, you know, talking about Halo. Recently, they've been killing it with the social streams, giving you a little bit more than just having some guys come on and play some games. They, uh, you know, previously were doing things with like the Halo 2 E3 demo, how they made the Infinite trailer, and also now they brought on Chris Lee, the head of Halo, Halo Infinite, and uh, the guy referred to as Berger, who's one of the lead engineers, Unishek, and also Sketch were all on the stream talking about Halo Infinite pretty much the whole time. So we got a lot of information. Had to break it up to multiple videos here because if I did it all in one, it'd be too much. So what we're going to do here, we're going to first talk about the story that's coming for Halo Infinite. Yes, it's currently underway right now. Uh, as mentioned back in E3 uh, 2018, uh, with that original post that uh, Chris Lee did say that this story is going to focus on the Master Chief and now You know, they just said that though. We don't know like what you mean like is it underway? Is it pretty much done? Uh, how, how close are you guys doing it? So the uh, question in the stream was have you guys started making the story and the question is yes They are currently underway making the story for Halo Infinite now they did mention how it's a bit of an issue though about how far of a story can you make when you're also developing an engine along with it at the same time so they mentioned on stream about how they're kind of working in tandem with each other about stuff they can do with the engine while also being able to create an actual story along with that as shown here in this clip uh yeah we have uh of course we've uh we're in the uh a important phase of the project and so we work on the story we work on um prototyping gameplay we work on um building out the engine um kind of a, a lot of aspects of the game development happens throughout the life cycle parallel, so like right? yeah it, it happens throughout the entire time and kind of so how about that slip space engine is it a brand new engine because we've been kind of bamboozled before when it comes to this kind of buzzword of new engine uh, a lot of times they'll say it's a brand new engine when really it's just kind of some you know upper level code that got changed around enough to kind of give uh, developers some new tools to mess around with but it sounds like this new engine slope space is rather new and kind of built from back from the ground up with a solid foundation already there uh, Berger mentions it here in this clip yeah, there's still some there's still some foundations. Um, it wasn't a complete and, and total um, rebuild. It was um, a teardown of certain systems that didn't allow us to kind of scale out to the places that we wanted to be. Um, but there will there's definitely still code and foundation that came from. But uh, it's a for an engineer who was on five, but not on, and then they came and saw this it would be a pretty foreign foreign system yeah. set of systems. So gotcha. Well, so yeah, essentially they kept the foundation of what made Halo 5's engine really good, but then they kind of tore a lot of things down that kind of slowed down the process of development and then rebuilt those. So basically it became a brand new engine. Chris Lee also reiterates saying that, yeah, there was a lot of great things that Halo 5's engine did and provided them some excellent foundations, but uh, you don't want to completely tear everything down just for the sake of everything being new. You know, if something works, don't fix it. And I think that's something I think that uh, 343 is going to be trying to pushing for when it comes to development of Halo Infinite. Also on the stream here, Unishek asked a great question here. I, freaking Unishek's awesome and he you know really helps provide a voice of the community to right there at 343 right inside the walls right there. So I think he did a great question right here. Gotcha. What was like something that the team or engineers had like a bigger issue with that they really wanted to see fixed 
and we took time yeah. to address specifically when overhauling everything. I think the biggest thing was just the efficiency of being able to work. And so from an engineer's pure engineering perspective, not content, yeah. um, it just was a slow engine to build, um, iterate in, and we did a lot of work to allow that to be a much faster process. Yeah. Um, just, you know, the more code that you can do and the more iterations you can get with the content team, the better. And so that was a big thing for us is that we were pretty slow to turn around changes back and forth before we sort of got into this. And so that was one of the big things that we did was to be able to turn changes around fast, get them to the content teams, iterate, and then, um, and then get builds back to them. It's probably one of the biggest frustrating pieces that we've, we've spent a lot of time working on. Yeah. So increasing speed of iteration. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's probably one thing I think that really was uh, really held back Halo 5 was the uh, content updates and the way to iterate and create new things within an efficient amount of time. And with Halo Infinite, with the going for the game as a service provided kind of system here, you're going to need to have easily available tools to be able to create content, update the game, you know, on a moment's notice within within a week. You know, if a, something's overpowered or broken, something can be fixed very quickly, where that wasn't quite the case when it came to Halo 5. So hearing how that how new the engine still is even though it kind of has some nice foundations and also that it's been really worked to be able to have ease of accessibility when it comes to creation and updating it really makes me happy to hear that kind of uh, stuff happening for the slip space engine and that makes me look even more towards halo infinite now as some of you probably remember back on the e3 post on halo waypoint chris lee mentioned that they're going to be doing a flighting program when it comes to creating halo infinite and it's going to be a very similar process as they did for the MCC, where they start out with a very small group, you can flight the game, play it out, and then you kind of grow from there. Now, I've been, you know, I've seen some comments on, you know, my last video and some other videos as well. It's like, how do you going to get in them involved with this? Well, I would imagine something along the same lines of criteria when it came to getting into the MCC flight program at first. Uh, though I could imagine this being a lot more confidential and a bit smaller as well to start out with, because they need to make sure that the um, you know there's going to be some NDAs involved with this. There's going to be some uh, non-disclosure stuff where you can't stream it, you can't create content, you can't talk about it, you can't tweet about it, or anything like that. So they need to be able to make sure that I'm sure when these first uh, you know releases come out that they can get handed off to trusted people who will not like spoil the game for everybody. Because obviously a release like Infinite is going to be very crucial for that very first impression. And you don't want people's impression of Infinite to be a buggy mess that's kind of, you know, it works, it looks nice and stuff like that, but doesn't quite work or play very well. You want people's initial reactions to be fantastic, which was what they accomplished with the Halo Infinite trailer. And you definitely want to see that moving forward. Now, when, like I said, when it comes to criteria, we don't know anything about that. I would assume it'd probably be something about being like probably being an active Halo player. Um, maybe also in the early, early stages, probably somebody who maybe even is like prominent on Twitch and YouTube and like someone that they can trust with, you know, so um maybe me no i'm just kidding <laughs> uh, but uh so that's my one guess there but this is what chris lee had to say about the flighting program for halo infinite yeah absolutely um i think i think one of the important things for us this project is to build alongside our community and, and with our community um providing input on the things that we're um creating and iterating on and so the flighting program not like a beta where it's like a moment in time on Halo 5 where we had that launch for like a couple of weeks. We want to have a, a relationship and, and kind of build that over time where we have people coming in, giving us feedback kind of playing the experiences and we're, we're updating it as we go and kind of get having a loop there. Uh, I think the beta was great. I think at that time, um, our like a lot of our tech stack was really um, difficult to get those iterations in out there with fans and that's one of those kind of as we improve the iteration for our team we're also improving things that allow us to do that with um, the community and take more input along the way which I think will be very good um, to make sure that we're building like a great experience. So again more emphasis on community feedback which I think has been the biggest issue with 343 it's been communication and community feedback with Halo 4 and even a little bit with Halo 5 as well. And so knowing that you know, 343 is looking to work with us hand in hand to create the game that we all want. And I think this is probably going to be the best way to do it because 
Quick further, I think, recognizes that they've had, you know, a, a vision of what they, what they wanted Halo to be, and it may not exactly work out to what the fan base's vision of Halo is. And so they're trying to merge those two points together to get to something that everybody can really enjoy. And so far, from what I've seen and heard about Halo Infinite, uh, I feel like the team is on the right track to accomplish. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video here. I really do appreciate you coming by and taking the time to watch this video. You know, I really appreciate you guys watching and taking the time to you know come by and hang out. If you enjoyed this kind of videos and want to see more like it, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the social stream and what the content was brought about. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. New to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep you notified whenever you upload anything to the channel. If you're new to the channel as well and you've missed any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right over here and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out